EA Sports coverage of the world of golf brings us to TPC Boston in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for this edition of PGA Tour Golf. With Frank Navalo by my side, I'm Rich Lerner. Frank, as weekend golfers know, there's always part of your game that you're focused on. So I'll ask the question, what are you going to be looking at here today? Tee to green, Rich. I, I know people always say putting's important. I'm not going to say it's overrated, but tee to green. If you want to play good golf day in, day out, fairways greens, that's the secret. Boy, he got that right on the center of the club face. A big drive there to get the round started. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second to this par four. This is a 13-footer. Seen this look before, monster drive and a mediocre second shot, and you walk off with only a par. It happens. Par five, second hold, 540 yards, birdie opportunity, Frank. A birdie or eagle, but that second shot all the way across water. So you're going to have to hit a good tee shot to go for this par five and two. Another good tee shot for him to start the round as he gets another fairway here at the second. Well within range from here, a second now to the par five.
Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Mmm, just a touch firm there. That'll be about three, four feet coming back. Not much left here for birdie. Ah, uh, and that's what you have to do on a course like this. Take advantage of the par fives. That's in for birdie here at the second. Now to the third hole, to par three. What are we looking at, Frank? Well, really, just keep your eyes away from that bunker on the right. It sort of snags many a golf ball. Okay, center of the green, good shot. 15 feet away. Got it there, but not quite on target. One under for the round. Frank, as a commentator, as a fan of the game, three words that I love in golf. Drivable, par, four, here we go. Yeah, some might say risk-reward. Um, just look at that bunker on the left at the front of the green because that's a great place to miss if you're not going to drive this green. Either that or just over the back right. But a par four, that's definitely worth taking the head cover off. That's on a pretty good line so far. Couldn't have done much better than that. An eagle is very possible. is why you try to drive this green to potentially give yourself putts like that, and he gets it to go down for an eagle, too. It's like the opening at TPC Boston, you could describe it as fun, gettable. It starts to change in character here at the fifth, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful par four. You've got to be cognizant of exactly how far you can fly the ball, though, because there's three distinct sections of this green.
No issues here. That is, into the fairway. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Oh, this could be good. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Mm-hmm, boy, we are seeing some really good golf here early on. That's gonna move him to four under to his first five holes. Ready now at the sixth, it is a tricky 465-yard par four. Yeah, hit it through the chute. Water comes into play a little bit down the left if you're uh, a long hitter. Well, somehow, that ball's got through the other side of the tree and uh, really haven't lost that much yardage. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota the third. 152 to the hole, coming off a birdie at the previous hole, looking to go back to back. That is straight into the thick stuff. Well, obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Mm, that slides by to the right. Just never had that on target. Three under on the day. Frank now a big par five, the seventh hole. Yeah, there's a, an interesting feature on this par five. About 100 yards short of the green is that huge cross bunker. So a good tee shot, that shouldn't be a problem. Stray a little, and then your mind is definitely on that. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four.
Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie. Yes, very methodically done, and that one in for a birdie. Hole number eight now, 213 yards in length, a par three. And Frank, what can we expect? Really narrow at the front of the screen. A lot of mounding. Ball normally kicks towards the left. One place you don't want to go, though, is that left bunker. The bunker shot's all downhill from there. Okay, that one's dancing. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. For being such a long way out, it's pretty straightforward. You've just got to make sure you get it there. Oh, that is a picture of class right there. A tee shot on the green, and then a long putt goes down for birdie. Frank, I love a hot dog and a soda at the turn. How hard is it to take a giant bite out of this ninth hole? Looks tough. It is. Uh, everything sort of bends where those two bunkers are, and that's sort of 350 yards to get past that. And there's an annoying little bunker that's about 30 yards short of this green. So uh, you have to be precise with both the first and the second shot. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Frank, here at the ninth, what are most players trying to do? Well, you really have to be aware of that bunker. Um, that's about 25 yards short of the green. If you, if you finish up there, that's one of the hardest shots in golf, the long bunker shot. So you've got to carry that, even if you want to run the ball onto this green. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Okay, good putt there for his par here at the ninth. And that will be a 31 on the front side, five under par. Starting the back side with the 425-yard par 4 tenth. Shortish hole, fairway wood might be the play. And a two-tiered bunker on the right side of the green 
is staring you down. So, is actually human. A fairway miss. That one goes into the rough. I wonder what's going to happen next. So a poor tee shot at 10, now his second. What a way to start the back nine. That is a tremendous iron shot. Now this for another birdie. That's as stress-free a birdie as you're going to get on this course. That is well done. 11th hole here at TPC Boston. Frank, this is a stout par three at 231 yards. Plays a little bit uphill, and that big gaping bunker just short right. Have to avoid that. And that's certainly not what you have in mind standing on the tee box. That never had a chance of hitting the green. That's just okay, I, I'd say, but he's left himself at least a chance at a par, Frank. Come on, Rich. Uh, I mean, you, you're being too kind there. That's not ideal. This will be a five-foot putt here. Okay, a good putt, but it'll be a rare drop shot as he'll slip back to five under for his round. Arriving now at the 510-yard par four at 12, it is the only hole at TPC Boston without a bunker. Dog leg left, water hazard is in play on the approach. Look out, that ball's OB, and that'll be a one-shot penalty. So playing the third shot right now after having gone OB.
Yeah, much better there. No questioning whether this is inbounds. It is right there in the fairway. Now his fourth shot. Well, he'd been going along well, but then the bogey on the previous hole, and now a double bogey here. This is a really good hole, the 13th. It's 447 yards. You have to be pinpoint straight off the tee here. Carry that rocky ledge in the fairway, and you will have a chance to access the hole location and maybe get out of here with a birdie. That would be some score. You're happy, though? Walk it away with four, trust me. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. We've got 137 left to the flag. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. the surgeon's touch right there. Well done to run that in for a birdie. We come to the 14th, another hole that has changed dramatically over the years. This 495-yard par 4 had bunkers on the left removed, replaced with what they call the chocolate drop mounds that don't appear too dangerous until you're in them.
Certainly seen some short game skills today, and that's more evidence here, really keeping this round together as we get closer to the clubhouse. Four under on the day. Settled over the ball here at the 15th, 421 yards on this par four. Uphill, you can see everything that you have to avoid on the green grass in between. Nope, that wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball going to run off the fairway and into the bunker. So this is second now, trying to get this out cleanly. Now, that's actually a pretty good shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. Substantial movement on this putt right to left, and it's from distance, so this one not just about speed, but line as well. No, that needed a little more pace to really let the slope do its thing, and that one comes up short. Nah, got it out there too far. It was trying to come back, but couldn't get there. Okay, no problem with that one. Finishing stretch here at TPC Boston. It's exciting. This is just a 161 yard par three hold this 16th. It's not very long, but if you miss just a bit, you can end up in that water front and left. That one safely on the putting surface. Not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. So he'll finish that off for his par, and he'll remain at three under. Frank almost at the house, but still some work to do. 412 yard par 417. Yeah, you know, just poke something down that right side. Uh, really, it's the second shot. You've got, to, you've got to worry about that big mound in the middle of the green.
that might have been okay if it stayed in that thinner rough, but I think this popped into that deeper area. So even from the thick stuff, a chance still to possibly reach this green in regulation. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Birdie. A look here for Birdie at 17. And this very makeable here. I see almost no break. That one just going to sneak on by. Cleans that up in the hole. On to the 18th and a big par five to finish out the round. Yeah, fun white. Let's see, course record 61. What can you do here? this up that left hand side long drive but a bad lie a uh, wicked Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Oh, what a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Well, Frank, as they say up here in New England, that wraps up another wicked good round. Yeah, you've just played one of the best golf courses up in the New England area, and uh, it was the best time of the year to play it.